Hey everyone, I'm Shamli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on Merkle Tree in Blockchain. In this video, at first we will see some of the use cases of Merkle Tree. And then we will understand what is a Merkle Tree. Followed by what is a Merkle Root. After which we will explore about cryptographic hash functions in blockchain. And then we will understand how Merkle tree exactly works. After which, we will discuss the benefits of Merkle tree. And at last, we will explore why it is it essential to blockchain. So, without much delay, let's get started with the video. But before starting, let's have a quick look at some general use cases of Merkle tree. Of course, there are more Merkle trees implementations out there. Git, a distributed version control system, is one of the most widely used. It is used to handle projects by programmers from all around the world. Interplanetary file system, a peer-to-peer -peer distributed protocol, is another suitable implementation. It's also open source, allowing computers to join and use a centralized file system. Merkle trees are used to the benefit of certificate authorities as well. It's part of the technique that generates verifiable certificate transparency logs. The final use case we look at is database systems like Amazon DynamoDB and Apache Cassandra. During the data replication process, Merkle trees are used by these no SQL distributed databases to control discrepancies. Now, the very first thing we will discuss is what is a Merkle tree. Merkle trees, also defined as binary hash trees, are a type of data structure commonly used in computer science. Merkle trees are used to encrypt blockchain data more effectively and securely in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. It's a mathematical data structure made up of hashes of various transactions of various data blocks in a particular blockchain network, which acts as a summary of all the transactions in a block. It also enables quick and secure content verification across big data sets. It also helps to verify the consistency and content of the data. Now that we know about the Merkle tree, let's explore what is a Merkle root. A Merkle root is a simple mathematical method for confirming the facts on a Merkle tree. They are used in cryptocurrency to ensure that data blocks sent through a peer-to-peer -peer network are whole, undamaged and unaltered. Merkle roots play a crucial role in the computation required to keep cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether running. Now that we know hash is a big part of Merkle tree, let's dive down and have a look at some of the cryptographic hash functions. A hash function maps any type of arbitrary data of any length to a fixed size output. It is commonly used in cryptography since it is a cryptographic hash function. The hash functions are efficiently known for one property. They can't be reversed. It's a one-way function that's only meant to work in one direction. Message direct, secure hash function, and RIPE message direct are some of the hash families available. Now let's take an example. If you use the SHA-256 hash algorithm and pass 101 blockchains as input, you will get the following output. This concludes that hash functions have the following key properties. Deterministic, free image resistant, computationally efficient, cannot be reverse engineered, and collision resistant. Now that we know about various aspects of the Merkle tree, let's understand how the Merkle tree works. Now that we have a basic understanding of hash functions, we can move on to the working of Merkle trees. A Merkle tree totals all transactions in a block and generates a digital fingerprint of the entire set of operations, allowing the user to verify whether a transaction is included in the block. Merkle trees are made by hashing pairs of nodes repeatedly until only one hash remains. This hash is known as the Merkle root or the root hash. They are built from the bottom using transaction IDs, which are hashes of individual transactions. Each non-leaf node is a hash of its previous hash 
and every leaf node is a hash of transactional data of each block. Here's the example of a Merkle tree to help you understand the concept. Consider the following scenario. A, B, C and D are four transactions all executed on the same block. Each transaction is then hashed leaving us with hash A, hash B, hash C and hash D. Now the hashes are paired together resulting in hash AB and hash CD. A Mogul root is formed by combining these two hashes, hash A, B, C, D. In reality, a Merkle tree is much more complicated, especially when each transaction ID is 64 characters long. But this should give you a good concept of how the algorithms work and why they are so effective. Now, let's explore the benefits of Merkle tree. Merkle trees provide four significant advantages. Validate the data's integrity. It can be used to effectively validate the data's integrity. Takes little disk space. When compared to other data structures, the Merkle tree takes up very little disk space. Timely information across networks. Merkle trees can be broken down into small pieces of data for verification. And efficient verification. The data format is efficient and verifying the data's integrity takes only a few moments. Now that we know the benefits of Merkle tree, let's explore how it is essential to blockchain. Let's imagine a blockchain without Merkle tree to get a sense of how vital they are for blockchain technology. We'll focus on Bitcoin because it use of Merkle trees is not only important for the cryptocurrency but also simple to grasp. If Bitcoin didn't include Merkle trees, for example, every node on the Merkle network would have to retain a complete copy of every single Bitcoin transaction ever made, you can imagine how much information that would be. Any authentication request on Bitcoin would require an enormous amount of data to be transferred on the, over the network. Therefore, you'll need to validate the data on your own. To confirm that there were no modifications, a computer used for validation would need a lot of computing power to compare ledgers. Well, Merkle tree are a solution to this issue. They hash records in accounting, thereby separating the proof of data from the data itself, proving that giving tiny amounts of information across the network is all that is required for a transaction to be valid. Furthermore, it enables you to demonstrate that both ledger variations are identical in terms of nominal computer power and network bandwidth. Well, that is all about Merkle tree. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on Merkle tree in blockchain and learn something new from it. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simply You. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.